talking going. Before we start recording, I'd have to cut that off already, and I like that's <laughs> like, just like our videos all over again. It's like just get things going, and then you ruin it. But there we go. Um, good evening, guys, and welcome to Twisted Dice Live. We're live with you every Wednesday at nine thirty on Twitch. Go come and join us if you listen to this back on a podcast. Uh, then the best place to catch us is live because you can interact in the chat um, and we have a lot of fun. Um, this is brought to you through the Twisted Dice network um, of all sorts going on. So we've got our dominant job is uh, battle reports and we do them every Friday or Saturday whenever we can get that battle report out for you. They are glossy, dice by dice, beautiful armies, beautiful terrain, um, some of the best battle reports you're going to catch on the internet. So do go over to YouTube and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. We're very active on Facebook, um, so you can catch our updates there if you search us on Facebook. Um, we produce podcasts, not only does this one go up as a podcast, but we also do a kind of twice a month um, podcast, which is Tip of the Spearhead, which is a very humorous, competitive um, podcast where myself and Simon from the channel take a subject and talk about it in depth. Our most recent one is all about Eldar versus Tau. It's really, really funny. Um, and we're going to have a little competition about how to build the worst list coming out of that. So wait for the details soon to drop on Facebook, but definitely check out that. It's a fun podcast. And if you like what we do, um, you can support us further on Patreon. From just a dollar a month, you can support the channel. But if you want some goodies from $5 a month, you can uh, get some swanky dice. And if you want to go up, we've got some exclusive T-shirts as well. Uh, you can be part of the Discord server and have a lot of fun with some other like-minded people. We've got a really cool group of guys in there, absolute legends, and we can't thank those guys enough because without them, um, we find it very difficult to do everything that we're doing. So we really appreciate your support. Um, and we do events, which is what we're predominantly going to be covering this evening. We're going to be covering um, events and going through um, the Twisted Onslaught event, which is coming this weekend, which we can't wait. But I'm here, as always, with my good buddy and partner in crime, Mr. Darren. Hello, Darren. How are you tonight? How are we doing, chaps? We're doing good. We're doing very good. High on fumes. The paint's <laughs> getting there. Yeah. The enthusiasm is just us running on adrenaline because um, we've put in some hours over the last few um, days and weeks to get um, the final bits in place because uh, this is going to be our this is our fourth event, um, but this is our first two-dayer. Um, I've done plenty of two days myself, but this is the first one that we've done um, together as a Twisted Dice event. So we're super, super excited. Uh, we've been building up to this. We've got some amazing plans going forward as well. Uh, we have already sold out our, our November event, um, which is super exciting. And that is going to be a six game GT. Um, so again, something that not many other people are doing. So we're super pumped about that. Um, but at the moment, it is all about Twisted Onslaught 1. Um, it's looking good right there. It's looking very good, but your camera's gone off though, so no one can see you. Well, it's, it's, it's looking good here. I can see me. I can see me and yours. Is everyone saying they can't see me? I, I, I can't see you, so if I can't I see, can see you, the yours. Reds can't, can't see you, I promise you. I don't know what it is then. I don't know what it is. Let me just let me turn it off and turn it on again. I'll turn it off. Technical issues. And by the power of magic, again. he's back there. And oh, we've just got your left ear. There we go. We there can we see go. you again. Right, pickle. Well, anyway, guys, if you were listening to that on podcast, you wouldn't have a clue what that's all about. But we are back. Technical flaws, as always, when you do anything live. That's how it works. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what are you most excited about the tournament? Uh, that's, uh, you know, what, 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 what can you not wait for, Darren? Do you know what? I can't wait to be th for this train to be finished. <laughs> so I can actually get back to actually painting some awesome models. Like I've got these awesome, sick Chaos Knights that are just waiting for some love. I can just hear them crawling and just scratching at the box saying, come on, Daddy, let me out. I want to play. <laughs> but I also want to have cool-looking train for the channel and for, the, you know, and for this tournament. So it's going to be awesome. 
But yeah, more no. importantly, I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to meeting all you guys. You know, we're going to have an awesome weekend. Uh, we're going to have an awesome Saturday night. If you guys are about Friday night, we're going to have an awesome Friday night. The Legion will be open from seven. Uh, we will be setting up down there on the sat on the on the Friday night. Uh, so you want to pop in, get a nice beer, you know, come down and join us. We're always happy for a chat, and I'm sure the young lass behind the bar will be more than happy to see some friendly faces as well. I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. Yeah, no, it's gonna be super excited. Can't wait to see so many people. Like the the crowd that we've got. Um, one of the real nice things about um, about our events, particularly in our current venue, is they are quite like little intimate um, GTs. So they're all sellouts generally. So um, we've got thirty players, um, but it's, a, it's just such a nice venue. You're you're basically on top of the bar, guys. So you only really need to move about two steps. And you've got yourself a cold beverage. And where I come from, that's what it's all about. Sod the rest of it. If so I can see, take two steps. You'll see John <laughs> Sunday morning, sunglasses, sat staff in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's uh and that that's that's such a cool thing though, to be able to just jump jump to the bar pretty quick. And I'm telling you what guys, the prices are good, it's club prices, so uh not only um not only have you got beers at hand, they're also reasonably priced, which is super handy. You can't um, go wrong with that, can you? <laughs> you? You can't go wrong with that. So, uh, so yeah, it's 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 going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. But I'm a bit like you, Darren. Like I've kind of had a lot of little bits and pieces kind of on my desk. I've got loads going on after the event. I've got obviously no retreat, um, which I'm going to go represent. I'm going to co to take my title back. It's been away from me for a little while, but it's time for me to get it back. So um, I'm going there um, with the aim to do that and to win it back for the Twisted Dice. Um, but I brought a back If you don't, you're going to get stick, you know that. Well, I brought a backup plan. I brought Fabius with me. So if I don't win it, I'll just send Fabius to do my dirty work. What um, you need to do, you need to do what um, that other lad does and just take loads and loads of chocolate with you. So every game you do... Old Henny, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just you just sweeten them up, bribe them a little bit with a little bit of chocolate. Quite, yeah, quite literally. But yeah, I mean, we're excited about it. I mean, um, I, I've won it once, and so has Fabius won it once. So if we can, if we can bring it home again, we're actually closing in on Lawrence. You know, he's won it four times. If we can win it again this year between Twisted Dice, we've won it three times. Um, so we can start to close that gap and make sure that we cement our mark on that being our tournament which is really cool so um fingers crossed uh, follow our progress on that i'm sure we'll send lots of pictures out on facebook and all over the place um so and then also um what got announced i've been having to keep it super super quiet is um the exciting news is that i got a invite to play in the uh, london gt invitational um so i get to play with some of the best players in the world um and some of the most well-known players in the world. So um, I'm yet to find out who my first round opponent is. That's going out over the next few days. They're kind of releasing a couple of the matchups each day. So the first couple went down today. But I'm really hoping I can get a big name in the first in the first rounds. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. But it'd be really, really cool to do that because I just love to. It's a great experience playing some of these cool players. Um, I've brought a real smash face list. So um, I'm resting the Tyranids for the Invitational because it's a knockout tournament. Um, and I've taken a nasty, um, a nasty mixed chaos list, which I think is going to do the business. Um, so I'm excited for that. Really can't wait. And I'll also be um, taking part in the main event as well. So if you're up at the London GT, make sure you stop by and say hello. Um, and uh, and and I'll be really pleased to kind of meet as many people as I can over the weekend, and uh, have a good old chat and catch up on some uh, sort of uh, wargaming goodness, which is what it's all about, because that's the best bit about it. So if you see me, stop me and say hello. Um, but anyway, and of course, that's... if you find Ace, Ace is poison, and you know you're going to be playing him next, I highly recommend you just <laughs> you lever the poor lad up. Lever me up, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm taking the Tyranids to the. Uh, to the main event obviously because i'm still going for my best faction so that's going to be a little bit more of a harder task i was looking through i did actually lose count because the i don't particularly like the way that they they list they they basically put all the lists in like a big document um i wish it was just all in best coast pairing because it's a bit of a pain to look through um so yeah i mean that's a bit of a gripe but it is what it is 
Um, but I got, I don't know, I got down to me anyway, and there's only about four Tyranid players and about the first, like, two, three hundred I went through. So there's not really many Tyranid players, so, uh, which is all good. But anyway, anyway, guys, you're not here to hear us kind of promote the channel and talk about all our escapades over the next coming weeks. You're here to talk about Twisted Onslaught and about the lists and the matchups. So what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to unblind the lists now. Um, and then we're going to talk for them. We're just going to give our kind of our honest opinions on the lists. And um, we're going to talk about who we think are going to be potentially the front runners. Um, and just have a bit of banter with it. So um, we'll try not to be too mean about your list. Um, but it's all in a bit of fun and games, guys. So don't feel too offended. And by all means, give me stick when you see me. Because uh, that's, uh, that's always fun. So... Uh, so yeah, right, so let's uh, let's jump on and unblind these bad boys and we'll have a little talk through. Right, so events. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> Waiting for the best cause pairing to do its thing. Right, cool. So they should now be unblinded. Let's save that. And we'll jump in and have a look. So for a start, I was going to say that um, we've got a real variety of lists, which is really nice. Um, we actually don't have very much soup in there. We've got quite a lot of mono faction, which again is really, really cool. Um, so it's exciting to see a field with so many different and so much diversity. Um, so let's get me out of the way first of all. So at the moment, guys, I am in the draw because we have 30 players. Um, we are still hoping to get one more player in there. If we get one more player in, then I can obviously jump out. Um, but as it stands, I'll play. And I'm not going to pull any punches, guys. Obviously, I can't win my own event, but no one's getting an easy game off me. So Because uh, that would be unfair on everybody else if I just throw my games... Um, then whoever I'm playing is uh, going to get an advantage over other people. So I'm going to give it my all, um, but obviously I won't ever win. So uh, that's kind of how it stands, just so you know. And fingers crossed we'll get another person that comes forward over the next couple of days and I can jump out. But anyway, so my list... Well, better still, if you've got a friend or family that's wanting to jump in, let us just drop us a message and we can we can yeah, work absolutely. some magic. Yeah, absolutely. We'd, we'd, I mean, and potentially potentially we might be able to squeeze in more than that but um because we might be able to go up to 32 but um so if you've been kind of on the fence get in touch with us let us know but we definitely would really like to get one more player so um so me and darren don't have to get involved but uh but if we do it's all good not a problem um so my list i'll run through really really quickly i'm taking tyranids um i've got a High Fleet Kraken Detachment, which is a Broodlord and Old One-Eye. I've got a unit of Rippers, two units of Termagants, 112, 110 man. And then I've got a young uh, Yumanganda Detachment, which has got a Broodlord and two Neurophropes. I've got three units of Rippers in that one. And then I have nine Carnifexes, all with Venom Cannons and um, Devourers. So it's basically, it's very similar to the list I'm taking to the LGT. Um, it's a little bit, it's not quite as killer because I haven't got the extra Venom Cannons from the Hive Tyrants. I've brought in some little guys. And the main reason why I've done that is because it's much easier for me to transport Broodlords and loads of uh, <laughs> flying, flying Hive Tyrants and Hive Tyrants. So um, I've gone for stuff that's nice and easy and compact because I'm bringing like, the terrain. Um, so that's my list. Uh, the Conifix is really good. I'm absolutely in love with playing them at the moment. It definitely hits like a train. Um, it doesn't have a lot of screen, um, but yeah, it's it's good. So um, definitely, if you don't know, if you happen to draw me, check out what a Venom Cannon does before you uh, come to the event because they're quite nasty. Right. Anyway, so that's me. Bit whack, if you ask me. They are a bit whack, Darren, but um, I can only go so far down the peg, right? Um, so let's start off with Andrew, Andrew Bowen, who is um, representing Twisted Dice, which is amazing. 
Andrew is a top lad. Can't wait to catch up with him again. And he is bringing a little bit of his tried and, t- tried and tested, but he's taking a bit of a different spin on it. So, Andrew, if you don't know, he's a really, really good night player. I would say one of the best night players in the country currently. Mm. He's been pretty much dedicated to playing purely nights this season and he absolutely knows his stuff so uh so yeah it's yeah. always a pleasure to have him and he won our second event did he win twist did he win twisted fates too <laughs> yes he did i think yeah he did so um so he's got a pedigree as well he does he, he's he's a, he's a high performing player so he has got a um super heavy detachment of knights in that detachment he's got a crusader so the crusader has got the gatling cannon and the thermal cannon um, and does he have a carapace one on that? He doesn't have a carapace one on that. Um, then he has another Crusader. That Crusader has got the Thermal Cannon and the Avenger Gatling Cannon as well. Um, and then he's got a Night Warden. The Night Warden's got the Reaper Chainsword and another Avenger Gatling Cannon. So uh, that's quite a lot of Avenger Gatling Cannons. That's uh, three Avenger Gatling Cannons and some Thermal as well. So that's pretty solid. They are all House Tyrannus. So that's the Zombie Knights. These guys can get back up again um, and they can act on full profile. So they're pretty nasty. He then has a super heavy auxiliary detachment. And in that he has none other than the girly man himself, Roberto Guillemon. Um, so that's a real cool little factor in there. You don't see that very often, but obviously with the... Um, oh, he's got the old points in there. That's interesting. He's still got them down as 350, um, so we will be using the new points. So uh, that's interesting. So looks like a slight mistake there. Um, looks like he's got a little bit of extra points to play with because Gilliman is 250 now. Um, so he looks like he could probably put some carapace weapons on. So we'll throw that back. It's no problems. Um, he's not going to change it dramatically, but it looks like there's a slight error in there. But he's got Gilliman, um, and then he has a battalion detachment, and in that battalion detachment it is uh, Vestoran, so it's Astra Militarum, and he has a Primary Psyker, he's got a Tank Commander, the Tank Commander has got the, um, uh, the Punisher Gatling Cannon, and then he has the uh, three obligatory uh, infantry units of 10 men so um he's got a little bit of screen he's got a nice little bit of chaff clearing from the um from the from the tank commander he's got gilliman that will give that um aura to reroll ones to hit because he gives it to anything imperium which is really handy he's also can play a bit of a linebacker um, and he can sweep the back of the board there and anyone gets close to Andrew's Knights and then Gilliman can, can get involved and do some serious work. So, uh, so yeah, interesting, interesting, good, good little list. Um, and there'll be some small amendments to that. And if we see mistakes as we go through, um, you know, we'll throw it back to the players to make some small amendments. Yeah, it's just all about being called about it as well. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's very different. Like, if, if someone needs to... Um, you know, completely rewrite the list. That's very different. That's not going to happen. But if you need to make some more tweaks because there's there's a mistake there or there's you know a little error, then um, if we can work it out between us, both me and Darren and anyone that's watching that spots something, then we'll work together and we'll make sure that we iron out any of those little tweaks. The whole idea of our events is the prey is the, um, the the main thing about them is that they're fun, enjoyable experiences. We want everyone to come along and have a crack in time. Um, and we don't want any kind of bad feel like feel bads and um, issues with lists and stuff like that. So if we can sort them out before the event, then we will sort them out. Right. So um, going on. So what do you think of Andrew's list before we go on? What do you reckon, Darren? I think he's going to be a good contender because I know he knows those nights very, very well. Um, you know, playing him firsthand a couple of times, you know, he knows how to move him. He knows what to do. I think he's going to be, you know, a real strong, strong contender in this one. I think it's Look, his, his list is going to be good. It's going to be very, very strong. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. If, I obviously haven't gone through all the list yet, so I don't know if there's any other, you know, what the counters are going to be mm. towards this. Yeah. So I think really until we get a little bit further down and see what other things are there and see Definitely. what potentially could cause him potentially yeah. issues. Yeah. So next up we've got Austin. 
I'm Austin Lockett, and if I murder anybody's surnames or first names, apologies. Um, between me and Darren, we're not wordsmiths, so um, apologies. I'm definitely we, not a wordsmith. You're I'm not Erebus. Not, um, and I'm not much better either. So, um, But anyway, so we've got Austin, um, and Austin is taking the Space Marines. And I can tell you what, there are quite a few Space Marine players, which is awesome, because that means the health of that codex is very well. Um, so he yeah. has got... He, he <laughs> is taking Imperial Fists... And he is taking the Siege Breaker Cohort, which is the one that I have been um, literally singing the praises for because it is so damn good. Um, so he's got a battalion detachment. In that battalion detachment, he has got a his, his warlord, which is a captain. He's got a artifact of war. He's got a chainsword, mastercrafted bolt pistol, and his artifact is the Teeth of Terror, which is really good. Um, and then he has a lieutenant, lieutenant with the auto bolt, bolt rifle. Then in his troop choice, he's got three units scouts. Scouts still really cost effective units that are great for kind of getting up, getting your early recons and um, taking some space, getting some objectives. So still a good unit. Um, They're a very, very good unit. Like, don't write them off. I've come no. across them of late no, and they, they are very very good they don't mess around and they're also better now as well because the new space marine buffs still make them better so you know they're, they're just they're just decent and then he's got his heavy hitters so then his heavy support he's got the centurion devastators and of course Ooh, i've got to look forward to seeing this game on the go yeah and of course they have got the hurricane bolters because that's what you want when you're running them in the cohort with the imperial fists so tons God, that's of gonna be really good that's a lot of shots coming your way I won't yeah, want to be got, on the receiving end of that. Yeah, he's got five, five of them, uh, five of them, all with the heavy bolters, all with the hurricane bolters. They are beasts. There's that's all mortal wounds on sixes to wound. Yeah, that's they're super crazy. Exploding hits as well because they're imperial fists. Like they're crazy, crazy good. They are amazing unit. Um, they got the capability of hosing horde but also delivering a knockout punch to big stuff as well. I love them. They are amazing. Um, and then moving on, he's got a couple of new tanks. He's got two Repulsor Executioners. I know um, our man Sean is in love with these. Um, and what's he arm these with? He has gone for the big gun. He's gone for the Heavy Laser Destroyer, which I know that Sean's not so much of a fan of, um, but they definitely, again, really good at killing they big really stuff. They really do pack a punch. And... They do pack a punch, yeah. Yeah, these these are awesome. Yeah. Um, then he has a, another detachment, um, and it's Imperial Fist again, so he's keeping all to the same theme, which is very cool. He's got a captain, he's got another lieutenant, and then he has three units of intercessors. Uh, he's got two eight-man units, so there'll be nine because there'll be a sergeant in there. So he's got two nine-man units. Uh, yeah, two nine-man units and a five-man unit. And then in fast attack, he's got an interceptor squad. He's been watching. Well, he hasn't been watching because we never got that about report out. But no, it never got... come out, so he hasn't. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Um, you can't take into... credit for that one, John. <laughs> no, I can't take credit for anything, let's be honest. But I love, like, I, I'm a little bit smitten on interceptor squads. So he's got intercept squads, and of course he's got them with the assault bolters. Um, so, yeah, he's got a little minimum unit of three, but that's amazing. Just jumps down and causes so much pain. I really like this list, Aaron. I really like this list. That's it. So that's that's. Uh, I just Austin. hope he's painting them really nice. <laughs> what? Not blue. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, Austin, you've been warned. Darren's on the warpath. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but that that looks a cool list. Really, really cool. And um, straight on. So Ben Pritchard, he is also running Space Marines. We love the Space but Marines. But he's gone Blood Angels. Um, no, no, yes, he has. Uh, yes, he has gone. Yeah, so he's not gone. Uh, so he's he's imperial, he's imperial soup. So he just needs to be changed. That's fine, no problem at all. So he's got a mixed, um, a mixed list. So he's got, yes, he's got blood angels. So he's got blood angels and attachment with a captain. So that's that, that's the smash captain, as all everyone knows and loves. He's then got the librarian dreadnought, which is amazing. I really which like is going library, to be the flying dreadnought which of course will be the flying dreadnought which is incredible then he's got th um, three units of scouts they're great uh, and they're even better in blood angels because they actually can fight a bit as well 
the <laughs> amount of attacks these boys are going to yeah. be chucking off on you is absolutely bonkers. Um, and but then he's got a, a battalion of space wolves. He's uh, keeping it fresh, um, and he's got a rune priest. He's got a wolf battle leader with a jump pack. So he's got kind of yep. their, their equivalent smash captain. He's got a wolf lord. So he's got basically two of those. So he's got two of those, which is nice, all packed out with all the goodness. So two kind of smash. So he's got he's gone smash captain crazy. So he's got a blood angel smash captain, two space wolf smash captains, and a librarian dreadnought. He wants to get up close and he wants to smash you in the face, Darren, real hard. Um, which, I, which I love. Which I love. Um, and his rune, pe- rune priest is no slouch, and he also has a jump pack. Um, then he's got three units of intercessors. Um, they're the minimum size units. And then he's got elites. He's gone. He's gone. Th- this is the interesting bit. I was looking at this earlier, and this is quite um, quite unique, quite a different take. Uh, lots of shots still. So he's gone for three units of wolf guard on bikes. Um, so that's three big blocks of bikes with their storm bolters. Um, and they've all got storm shields as well, so they're fairly resilient. Well, yeah, um, they're always going to have that free up in van. They're going to, yeah. you know, they're going to get across the board quite quick, so they're potentially going to be able to get your objectives. It's going to be really hard to shift them as well with the yeah. toughness five. Two um, the free up, yeah. the free up is not going to be no joke at all. Plus, now yeah. with the extra attack, they're going to get. They're going to, you know, you you can't. They, they, yeah. look, they're going to be really hard to shift. Whether they're going to deal with a knight or not, that's going to be different. But, and get- and guess what? It gets better. It gets better, Darren, because when you've got when you've got a load of Blood Angel Smash Captains and you've got a load of Space Wolf Smash Captains, what do you need? A load of Dark Angel Smash Captains as well, because then he has a third detachment, which is a Supreme Command detachment, um, and he in that they are Dark Angels, um, and he has oh, wow. a Librarian with a jump pack. He then has a Librarian of Phobos armor. Because uh, he's going to try and use the trick um, to make them plus one to hit, I believe. Um, and then he has a um, a master, a master with um, a jump pack and a storm shield and a thunder hammer. So the guy has got smash captains coming out of his ears. <laughs> you you ain't going to worry about the bikes. It's the smash yeah. captains you got to yeah. you got to try dodge all the way through the game. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. This, it, um, it, is the, it is the Avengers list. This is it is the Avengers. So Teleposse's put forty shots each from those bike squads. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're no they're no joke. They're no joke. It's actually it's a deceivingly clever list. It's really unique. It's got a lot of different little factors in it. Um, it very much plays that um, that character hammer game. So he's got these resilient bike units that get up in your face that are quite hard to move, which then his characters that you can't target are all literally homing in on you really quickly. Um, yeah. And getting through those bikes is difficult. So, um, And then he's got psychic support there as well. He's got scouts to hold ground. It's a really, really clever list. Um I think he's he's going to come into trouble against a potentially a tail list if they get first turn and they're able just to gun down down gun down those bikes quick enough. Um, he's going to need he's going to need train to be his friend a little bit because he's going to need that. Um, but it's a real real clever list. I like it. Strong. Um, so then we'll go into Chris Horton's. So Chris Horton's list. He's gone for Dakari. Always reliable. Um, and he has got a battalion detachment of Takari. In that detachment, he's gone for Prophets of Flesh, which is what everyone goes for, which is the homunculus with a Vexator mask to make sure that something fights last. Yuri and Rakarf, um, again, to just buff all those um, Prophets of Flesh units. He's then got in troops. He's got three units of racks. Racks are really good. They're minimum units, but they're, they can fight, um, and they're, they're a pretty solid troop choice. He's then gone for elites. He's got a little unit of grotesque. He's only gone for a three-man unit of grotesque, which is quite interesting. Normally, you see these in big blocks of like six or kind of eight or nine. But um, but then he's gone for heavy support. He's gone for Talos, and the Talos are super scary. And there yes. is one, two, three Talos, um, all with um, micro scalpels and splinter cannons. So he's not gone for the haywire. He's gone for the mass shots from poison, which is interesting. Um, so that's solid. Those Talos know know what they're doing. So he's got in the grotesque and the Talos, he's got two real hard hitting, solid 
bully units. Um, he's then got a battalion detachment of Eldari, um, Jakari, sorry, um, and that is he's gone for the old Cabal of the Black Heart, so for that lovely Vex stratagem, which is a right pain in the ass. And he's got two Archons, uh, one of them is his Warlord, um, and then he has three units of Cabalite Warriors. In the heavy support, he's got two Ravagers, two Ravagers, and he's got Dark Lances, which is interesting. So Dark Lances rather than Disintegrators, which is not a choice you see very often, but just definitely quite scary for big stuff. Then he's got dedicated transport of a couple of raiders with dark lances, a venom with a splinter cannon. He's then got another venom with another splinter cannon. He's got loads of units. He's then got a, another battalion detachment. This is going to be your witches. So, yeah, which this is really fluffy. So he's gone for one of each of the different types of Dark Eldar, which is cool. Um, and this detachment is Cult of the Red Grief. And he has a succubus. So he's got two succubuses. Um, and then he's got three units of witches, the little minimum units. Um, and then in fast attack, he's got reavers. He's got two units of reavers. And then he's, he's got three units of reavers. So this is like this is like a proper min max army. So he's gone for nothing in massive volumes, but he's gone for a little bit of everything. So this army's got lots to deal with, all different types of units. It's great at jumping on objectives. It's super quick, super mobile. He's got tons and tons of tricks. If played well, this army can definitely be strong, 100%. Definitely. <clears throat> Next up, we've got Dan Jones. Yeah. Dan Johns, even. <laughs> Dan Johns, yeah. Yeah. With the Blood, um, he's got the blood, the angels, blood angels. angels. He's bringing the Blood Angels. Again, representing the Twisted Dice, which is cool. It's nice to see quite a few of our Twisted Dice team in here. Um, and he has gone for um, a list that he's been tailoring and working on for a while. So we'll see how it does. He's gone for um, a detachment of Blood Angels, funny enough. He's got HQ2 Librarian Dreadnoughts. Um, one of them is his Warlord. Um, super strong. I love Librarian Dreadnoughts. Really, really powerful. Um, hit like an absolute train. Uh, he's got f uh, three units of Scouts. Great at holding that board. Um, he's then got a another battalion detachment. In this, he's got a librarian of Phobos armor. They're yeah, really useful. And then more Le scouts. He's got Lamartes as well in there, who buffs the Death Company. Then he's got he's got three units of scouts, and then he's got two big blocks of Death Company. And Death Company got real scary with the new rules. Very real very scary. scary. These guys <clears throat> piss out attacks like going out fresh on. One right. squad with flamers and then one squad with power fists. It's, so like you've got yeah. one to deal with the chaff and then you've got one one squad to deal with your heavy your heavy hitters. One to give you a proper fist in, right, Darren? Well, you had to take it there, didn't you? I had to take it there. I thought, you know, Simon's not here, so I thought I'd to try to fill that in. Um, then we've got heavy support. He's gone for an eliminator squad. I really like the eliminators. They're a really useful little unit. Real trolls, aren't they, Darren? Real trolls, those guys. Look, they're 50 50. They hit, they're good. If they don't hit, yeah. then they suck. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they don't do much, but they can, they can, they scare people and they get people. They're to more fire of an annoyance. Out. They're annoyance, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Especially in a little unit, just one little unit, they're just a bit of annoyance. Um, and then he's got another detachment, which he's got a couple of Smash Captains. You're never going to get a Blood Angel list without Smash Captains, and he's got two. No, you of them. just wouldn't leave home without it. They're so good. They're so, still so good. Um, and the great thing about this list is he's got the battalions to um, to really arm these guys up with the CPs he needs to make them work. Um, he's then got three units of intercessors, uh, three minimum units. They're still super good. And then fast attack, he's got some interceptors, my favourites. He's got a little unit again. Now, obviously, they're not quite as good as in the Space Marine, but they're still good because they still got the buffs to their... Um, these, these are the units that are going to get in behind the back of the lines to clear out the chaff. They, they, they're great unit. They're a great unit. So, yeah. So, uh, he's bought a really solid list. And I hit the good thing about it is he's been playing it lots. He's been really getting under the skin of the Blood Angels. So, I expect him to, to have a good tournament. Um, next up, we've got David Brown again, representing Twisted Dice. He's taking the Tau Empire, the boom, no messing around with the Tau Empire. 
Um, and what has he got in his list? He has gone for a uh, battalion detachment of Shadow Sun. She's so good. That double Cayenne or uh, Cayenne after a Moncar is amazing. Dark Strider, great for your Fire Warriors. Then he's gone for three units of um, Fire Warriors, three minimum units. Each of them has got two shield drones each in them, which is really, really important. He's then got mm-hmm. fast attack of another eight. So he's got two units of four uh, drones. He's got two shield drones in each and two marker drones in each. Again, more and more, you just want loads and loads of drones. Then he's got some heavy hitting stuff. So he has got heavy hitters. He's got the broadsides. So he has got um, three separate All broadsides. The missiles. All the missiles. All the missiles. They, they're good. And he's also got, again, importantly, he's got another four shield drones in there. So, again, you're starting to build up this a mass of shield drones. He's then got a Vanguard attachment. In the Vanguard attachment, he's got a fire blade. Great for another marker light. He's then got three fireside marksmen. Again, amazing for marker lights. He's then got another Vanguard attachment. Um, and he's got a Cold Star battle suit to jump in with the four fusion blasters. He's also got another two shield drones there as well. So again, more shield drones. And then he's got the big boys. He's got three Riptides. Um, and the Riptides are all armed with advanced targeting system and velocity tracker. He's got two with heavy burst. And he's got one with the ion. And of course, uh, if the train works in his favour, you know where the dro- you know where the drones are going to be hiding, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's a really it's super solid. It's all the guns, all the guns, and there's an, there's enough drones there to to keep him safe for a little while. Just where he's got to decide where he puts them. Um, it's always interesting when you see both broadsides and riptides in the same list these days. Normally, people decide to go full on on one of them. Um, yes. And then and and not for both. So the fact that he's gone for both means that he has to sacrifice a little bit of his padding from even more drones or more troops or more buffing characters. Um, but he's got so much shooting. His out. The, thi- the thing is, if anything that gets into close combat, they're going to have to take on so much firepower. Unless you've got a way of you know stopping that, yeah. they're going to take on so much Overwatch on fives and sixes. That's going to be scary. It's immense, it's immense. So um, on to David McDonald, um, and he is taking Chaos, um, and he has got, um, blah, blah, blah. what have we got here? So we've got Demons, a Demon, uh, a demon Detachment, and it is Poxbringer, and Sloppity, Sloppity Boppity Boppity Boo Boo, love saying that name, Sloppity Bile Piper. Um, as you always take those two, um, Pox Bringer for the minus one to hit and Sloppity Boppity Boppity, so make sure that your Plague Bearers don't run away. Um, he's then got Troops Choice of Nurglings, and then he's got a unit of 29, so a unit of 30 Plague Bearers, and another unit of 22 Plague Bearers. So it's got two big blocks of Plague Bearers, super handy. He's then got a Supreme Command Attachment, in that he's got... Uh, two demon princes of Nurgle. Uh, one of them's got that horrible separating plate, which bounces the mortal wounds back, which is a real pain in the ass. Uh, he's then got a Lord of Contagion, um, who's no slouch with his plague reaper, um, and then he's got an elite choice of some Blight Lord, t- Blight Lord Terminators. They're super handy, super good. Um, and then what do we have next? We have got he's got loads of blight, loads of blight lord terminators. Anyway, that's all part of that. And then he's got uh, Lord of War. Naughty Morty. Naughty Morty. He's got Naughty, Naughty Morty. Morty. <laughs> he's got Mortarian, the Lord of the Flies. Um, we love this guy. Mortarian's a beast. Um, so yeah, Mortarian's in there. And then he has a patrol detachment. And in the patrol detachment. He has got Black Legion stuff. He's got a Chaos Lord. And I see what he's done here. That is the Chain Lord, ladies and gentlemen. The Chaos so that, version of a Smash Captain. It is. So we have the Chain Lord is in the building. Chain Lord, and then we've got Sorcerer. And the Sorcerer's there to help the Chain Lord be even more effective. And then we've got a unit of cultists. So again, a clever list. Like it. It's got some tricks in there. It's got some tricks, Darren. 
He's got some tricks. There's some tricks there, all right. Got some tricks. And then we're on to Franco, representing the Twisted Dice again. And Franco, again, someone who has been crafting this list for a period of time and has been working on it. Uh, he just missed out last time at our last event and got beaten in the final game by, by Simon. So I know he wants to come back and get some revenge. I think he um, wants a rematch. He wants a rematch, doesn't he? Yeah, he wants a rematch. So we'll see whether that happens. That'd be interesting. So he again has gone for his beloved chaos, and he has got again. He's got Poxbringer, and he's got Sloppity Boppity Boppity Boop, um, and troops choices. So this is a mixed attachment. He's got blood letters. He's got twenty blood letters. He's then got you know Nurglings. He's got two units of thirty plague bearers. Um, and then in he's got a spearhead detachment. In the spearhead detachment, he has gone for the purge, and he's got a sorcerer with a jet pack with a jump pack, and then he's got heavy support. He has three hellforged Dereo dreadnoughts, Derodeo dreadnoughts, um, with the butcher cannon array and the greater havoc launcher. These guys are amazing, super good. Um, I know they, they do some serious work. Franco loves them to bits. And I think they'll be dangerous and they'll be, again, MVPs for him. And then he's gone for his new toys. So he's got a Supreme Command detachment. And in that, this is the... He's gone for... This is the funny detachment, specialist detachment, Soul Forged Pack. And it is the Flawless Host. And it is three of the... Disco, disco, disco! <laughs> disco, 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 disco. Yeah! <laughs> Three Lord Discordants, um, and they're all Mark of Slanesh, of course. Um, yeah, they're just great. So um, this is kind of Franco's tried and tested list, but added in some discos. Um, scary so, list. Scary list. He's not messing around. Yeah, yeah. You don't want him to get first turn. He's get in for the, the chaff to then get to the goodies. And then we have then we have Grant. Um, and Grant is representing Twisted Dice with an Imperial list, so he's gone away from his Custodies that he was running recently, um, and he has gone for um, a predominantly. This is, um, in fact, is this all? Uh, no, it's he's got all, he's got, but no, he's got he's some got, knights in there as well. Uh, yeah, he's got more than one knight. So yeah, right, okay, cool. It is mixed. Fine. I thought it was Astro. Um, Admech, but it's actually not. Um, so he's got his main force is Admech. So he's got a. Don't Admech get knights in their their um, codex? They can have one knight. Um, in the ITC, they allow them to have one knight. If they have more than one knight, they break the, um, the single faction. Yeah, sure. Um, but they can have one knight. But they can have them. They still can benefit from all their abilities and stuff like that. So it's still great to have knights with them. Full stop. Um, so he's got the. He's got. He's got. First one I've seen is an assassin, so he's got the operative um, sanctioned guy. So minus two CPs, eighty five points. So that would be good. a yeah, that'd be a pick a mix, pick a mix assassin. And then he has Belisarius Crawl, the bowler himself. Um, and because this is Mars, of course. And then he's got a tech priest engineer. Then he's got in troops, he's got a unit of Skatari, another unit of Skatari, another unit of Skatari. They've all got the transonic arquebuses. Bet you couldn't say that, Darren. I know you're going to worry. I'm not going to try say, it. Try it. Try it for us. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't still say the other dude's name. Clabrivus. Clamorous. <laughs> okay, yeah. So he's got more snipers, Darren. That's what they are. That's what the transonic arquebuses are. Um, transonic archibus very good very good there well done um so he's got what can i do in... if i put on a stupid accent or a stupid voice <laughs> um so he's got so he's got potential if he takes the vindicator he's got a lot of sniper potential in there um because they all kind of stack up which is good he's then got in the heavy support he's got three on onica dune crawlers and they have got the neutron lasers so all the heavy hitting ones they're the mind they're the ones that, that do a minimum damage of three so yep. they, they are really good at anti big stuff um, they're solid little units, the June Callers, really well pointed now, so they, they're actually they're solid. Um, then he has got another detachment, and this one he's got a he's got a couple of engineers, tech priest engineers. He's got another three um, range, sorry, rangers, 
And they've they not got the snipers, have they? No, they've got galvanic rifles instead, um, which I don't know exactly what they are, to be honest. Um, then he's got the Dragoons. So he's got um, the Sidonian Dragoons. He's got four of those. Um, you don't and they see them have... as much now, do you? Not super much. Not since they um, nerfed the Stygis 8 minus to hit kind of Scout 1. And they don't use them as much, but uh, they're still a good unit. Um, so he's got, and they're great for distraction. Great for mm. distraction. They're amazing distraction card effects. And then he has got super heavy auxiliary detachment of um, knights. And he has got the, uh, he's gone for Raven, House Raven. And he's got Armager Morax, which are the new ones. Um, so they're the little Armagers from Forge World. Um, I'd be interested to see how they play. Galvanic Pulsar, Morax Siege Claw, and Rad Cleanser. That's interesting. I'm not 100% sure what all that does because the only ones, in fact, I'm even sitting in front of me here um, with Chris's ones that I've been working on, which are the Lightning Locks. Um, but I've not seen this loadout that he's got, so that's interesting. So I don't know what they do. Um, and then he's got a Knight Valiant. The Knight Valiant is the Flamer guy um, and with all his goodness. So uh, pretty scary stuff. So again, good good list good list powerful packs a punch um so we'll definitely do well there and um grant did really well at our last tournament he's a good player so this was good um and now we come on to the first of the squid badges the legendary squid badges and we have james hallen and he's taking my beloved tyranids um and he has got a real interesting list because i was looking at this earlier so he's got he's gone for a detachment of Kraken. In that detachment, he's got a Hive Tyrant. Of course, that Hive Tyrant has got wings. He's also got the Reaper of Obliterex. So he's a monster in combat. He has got... He's got no shooting at all. He's just a fighter. Which is really interesting. So you don't see that very often. A flying Hive Tyrant with no guns at all. Scary stuff. And then he's got the Swarm Lord. Um, I know that uh, James has a lot of joy with the Swarm Lord. He's a beast and he's done well for him. So he's got Swarm Lord. He's then got uh, two big units of Gene Sealers, both 18 man unit Gene Sealers. So uh, he'll be slingshotting those bad boys up. And they're mm -hmm. always scary. Uh, he's got a hey. unit. He's got unit Rippers to make up that third troop choice. Then he's got Elites. He's got Pyrovores. Way. Hey. He's got. He's got. Six pyrovores, two units of three pyrovores. You don't see those bad boys at all. Um, so that's interesting. So good luck with those. They're the flamer um, ones. They're the flamer ones, yeah. They're wow. really bad. They're really bad. But they got the thing. The thing about them is they got ridiculously cheap. So now they're super cheap. So you can get three of them for seventy-five points. Um, and yeah, they're not bad. It's like a heavy bolter kind of. So it's like a, it's like a heavy flamer. So it's like minus one. Yeah, strength five. They're all right. They're not terrible at the Eight points they now cost. Uh, nine inch range, I think. So you, but okay. they can't deep strike. So, but they're a good defensive unit, and they're not bad. They're not bad. Um, and then he's gone for in his heavy support. He's gone for not one, not two, but three Tyrannifexes, all with the acid spray, which is the right choice. Those rupture cannons are a trap. Acid spray is what you want, um, and they are beastly. Those things. They so he's gone for Flamer City. So you don't get if he if he assembles in the midfield, um, like you're gonna have to shoot him down because you get close to those things and they're putting you in all sorts of pain. Um, and then he has a Supreme Command detachment of Kraken, and in that detachment he has got two Brood Lords and a Malanthrope. Uh, Manifrope's great because obviously the Manifrope can go up with those Tyrannifixes and mean that they're really difficult to deal with. Um, their toughness eight, loads of wounds. Um, and then the Broodlords are little beasts themselves. So it's a really aggressive in your face list um, and it holds the midfield really, really well. Um, so yeah, and, and James is a really dedicated Tyranny player. So um, again, I suspect he'll do really well with that. So. Uh, as long as he doesn't get too hammered, which is very unlikely. <laughs> we'll um, see you at the bar, James. We'll see you at the bar. Um, then we have John Kiddle, and this is my favourite list of the whole tournament. This is my absolute favourite. I don't know if it's the best, but it is my favourite. And you'll love this one, Darren. You will absolutely love this one. And it starts off straight with a good one. No, no padding here. Let's go straight into the good stuff. 
super heavy detachment with no one, oh, not two, yes. but three K-tans. Kai Kaitan Ravagers. Three of the big guys. What do you think of that, there? Does that Mate, I like you? it. It's going in strong straight away. I love that. I love that. Um, then he's got a battalion detachment. Not quite as good as a knight. No, they're not, but they are. They're only 410 points. Um, they still hit like an absolute train. They look amazing. Um, they're beasts. Um, for, the, for the Blood God, right? Damn right. Um, and then he's got a battalion detachment of World Eaters. And in the World Eaters detachment, he's got a Chaos Lord. He's got an Exalted Champion. And he has got a Lord Discordant as well. Um, with all the goodness then he's got troop choices he's got a cult unit cultists and then he's got three two units of berserkers and a couple of rhinos um, nice yeah you like that list right darren How cool yeah it's a proper chaos list right no mystery. then we got an honest war game of playing next yeah so next up we then have scrivo the alcoholic the piss head old scrivo loves his drink um, and, <laughs> and if you ask him nicely, he'll buy you beer. <laughs> um, so he's gone for um, the Orcs. It's the first Orc list. I think it's the first and the last Orc list. I think there's only one person running Orcs. Um, he's gone for Death Skulls. I think it's all Death Skulls, if I'm right. Um, and he has got... He's got the Big Mac with, cust- with the uh, Shock Attack gun, the uh, souped-up Shocker. He's got another Shock Attack gun in there as well. He's got a Weird Boy with his Jump. Troops choice, he's got three units of Gretchen, one big unit of 24, the other two units of 10. He's then got some mech guns. He has got one, two, three, four, five smasher guns, which are the right choice. I was running smasher guns before they were called, Aaron, remember? I'm just telling you now. Just letting you know. <laughs> but now, every, now, every, now everyone's running them. Right, um, and then um, he's got another battalion detachment of Death Skulls. In that, he's got the Warboss and the Warbike with the Killer Claw. It's a good old. Well, you might as well get this in while he can because soon he's not going to get a chance. Very true. It's very true. He'll have to be on foot. <laughs> <laughs> he can but have the bike there. in the background. Yeah, he can have the bike in the background. He can be standing next to the bike. He's got two. <laughs> No, got... sorry, mate. You're not allowed on that. You know the you rules. Know the... Just bring it along for, for a mascot. And he's got, got to have two... a Gretchen on it instead, just riding along for the little ride along. Whee! And then he's, then he's got two weird boys. Um, then he's got his orc boys. So he's got three units of orc, of orc boys. He's got two units of 30 and one unit of 10. So he can mob up one of them, make it a unit of 40, which is cool. He's then got an elite choice of commandos, just a 10-man unit. They're really good in Death Skulls. Um, and then he's got a Pain Boy and Fast Attack. He's got some Death Copters, three Death Copters with twin big shooters. And then he has a final detachment, which is the uh, Flyer Detachment. And again, it's Death Skulls. He's gone for three Daka Jets, which is cool. I like that. I would have gone with um, uh, Bad Moons on the, on, the, uh, de- on the Jets, but... John's decided to keep it fluffy and go for one clan, so hats off there. Um, he wants to go fluffy, but he also he wants to make sure he gets that that invulnerable save. Yeah, it's true. It's only six out there, right? Yeah, he, he, well, it's a chance to save it, right? I suppose, I suppose. Any, yeah. any save is better than no save. It's true, it's true. Um, but yeah, it's a good list. Orcs are always going to do well. Um, and uh, it just shows that all the fanboys, all the... All, all, all the uh, jump on the bandwagons have all gone, and John's still playing his beloved Orcs, so that's all good. Um, then we have Josh, Josh Lockett. He's got Necrons. Necrons. Right, um... Necrons. And it's cool, <laughs> because like I think he's the only Necron player there, which is awesome. He is. He is. But he has taken the right Necron list as well. He's taken the Necron list, the one that everyone's doing well with, um, and it's no joke. So he's gone for Sotak, two, uh, no, sorry, a Cryptic with a uh, Chronotech Cloak and a Staff of Light, an Overlord with Warsife, then he's got Troop Choice, he's got Immortals, 10-man unit of Mortal with Tesla, and then he's got two units of Warriors. He's then gone for some Scarabs in the Fast Attack, and then a big unit of um, Destroyers, those guys are nasty. 
He's then gone for an air wing detachment, which is the goodness with the free doom scythes for that horrible stratagem. Ooh. It's that horrible mortal wound stratagem. It's disgusting. Um, and then he's got a spearhead detachment, which is Sotak as well, and that's where he's got in there. He's got a um, another lord in there, um, but he has got three doomsday arcs. Uh, so yeah. It's quite a long I like it. Shooting, That's yeah. good. It's a good list. It's a good list. If it's played well, it can do some serious work. Right. Then we've got Kenneth Morley with Tau. Um, and Kenneth is running. He's got a Fireblade. He's got a Commander in Crisis Battle Suit. Um, and he... What's he got? What's guns he got? I can't see what guns he's got. He's got no guns. He's got no guns, Darren. No guns. Well, that's gonna be a bit boring for him not to shoot anything, right? He's just gone for an old, old buff commander, I suppose. That's what he's gone with, I think, because I I can't see any guns. That's real strange. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something, he has got no guns. So that's interesting. So if he's got if you've got guns there, mate, I think you've missed it off there. So you might want to double check that. But maybe you've gone for the old style buff commander, which is not a terrible thing. You just don't see it very often these days. Um, um, then we've got troops choices. We've got a three units of strike teams, fire warriors, minimum unit. No, not minimum units. Two units of four, sorry, two units of five, and one unit of eight. Then we've got fast attack. We've got some drones. We've got two six-man units. Well, we've got one unit, one unit of shield drones, one unit of marker drones. Then heavy support. We've gone heavy on the broadsides. Well, not heavy on the broadsides. We've got three broadsides. Another six shield drones. Then got Vanguard detachment with a commander in force of battle for battle suit. He's got three missile pods. He's not forgotten the guns off this guy, um, no. and he's got advanced targeting, so ATS. So that's that's good. This guy's he's pretty tasty. Then we've got two uh, Riptides. They've both got burst cannons and ATS and velocity tracker. So he's going for the anti-air, and then he's finishing off the list with he's got some hazard suits. With the uh, burst cannons, I quite like these guys. They put out a lot of shots. He's got gun drones with them. He's got Supreme Command Attachment with a, another Cold Star. This guy's got two fusion and a high output burst cannon and a missile pod. So he's got a kitchen sink, that guy. And then he's got Dark Strider and an Ethereal. So uh, another good, strong tower list. Loads of shooting. Um, yeah, definitely going to be strong. Going to be strong tower out to prove something this weekend, Darren. I think. Well, let's say let's hope it's not <clears throat> it's not a tower win, but let's go for it. So, uh, Kieran. Kieran, Colt Admic, um, and this is. So I need to learn Admic a bit more. I don't know Admic that well. So he's got a Tech Press Dominus. He's got Tech Press Engineer, Engine Seer. He's got a Troop Choice. He's got three units of Rangers. They've got the Galvanic Rifles and not the Arquebuses. Then he's got Fast Attack of Iron Strider, which those ones are the shooty Chicken Walkers with the Las Cannons because they've got the twin Cognus Las Cannons. And then he's got the Jagoons, which are the Combat Chickens. And they've got the taser lances. So he's got, and then he's got another unit of the combat chickens, um, the uh, taser lances. So he's a fast-moving, in-your-face, lots of chickens to deal with. Um, then he's got, oh, he's got the new hotness, heavy support, three of the Scorpius disintegrators, which are the new tanks. You know the D-Day landing tanks. Yeah. But they're <clears throat> the ones with the um, ignore line of sight barrage type weapons. Really solid. Oh, I didn't realise they need line of sight on them. Yeah, they're like whirlwinds, but they pack a punch. Real nasty. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see after the weekend. See how well they did for him. They're really good, and they're super cheap at at 111 points each. They're crazy good. Um, then he's got a, another detachment in this one. This is the Servitor Manipur, which is I don't know exactly what it does. I think basically you can. You can make your destroyers or breaches better, which would make sense. Because um, then he's got a Tech Priest Dominus, and he's got a Tech Priest Manipulus, and I think that guy makes the range longer of the destroyers, if I'm right. And in that, he's then got two huge units of um, destroyers, 
and they've all got the plasma blasters, so they kick out a hell of a lot of damage. And then he's got a unit of rangers. So this is a no-joke army. This packs a serious punch. Okay. So next up, Lee uh, Warsford. Warsford um, coming all the way from Isle of Man. Um, so uh, where it's awesome to have you come over, guy. So thank you very much, my friend. And he is bringing the Dark Angels. Um, and he has just kicked Simon's ass last night in practice, which is very funny. Um, oh, really? And, and Simon's still sulking, which is probably why he didn't make it here today. Because uh, <laughs> he said, he said, Didn't he want said the grilling. He says it's a cold, but I think it's because um, Lee kicked his words. ass. Um, so, so Lee's got Azrael. Um, he's then got a lieutenant. Um, and he has... Uh, another lieutenant. He's got troops choices. He's got intercept intercessor squad. He's got oh, it's really weird the way he's formatted this list. It's really hard to read. Um, intercessor. Oh Jesus, I don't, I can't read this list. Lee. Let's let's skip that one. <laughs> There's a lot Can of dark read. angels there. <laughs> There's a lot of dark. Sorry, Lee. Like the way it's formatted, you put all the extra bits and pieces in. So let me see if I can kind of summarise it. So a couple of pulses. Dark, loads, Loads of Dark Angels, quite a few bikes. He's got Hell Blasters, loads of Hell Blasters because they're nasty in Dark Angels. He's got um, he's got a Leviathan Dreadnought, which is beastly. Everyone knows that with the Storm Cannon Arrays. Um, yeah, he's got a Repulsor, like you said. Um, yeah, he's got a, he's got a good little all round the list. Um, Raven Wing Bikers are always good as well, so uh, he's got good, he's got good, good, good list. <clears throat> as proven by giving Simon a good whipping last night. Um, then we've got Mark, another Twisted Dice player. So he's and one of the chaps from the club. Awesome, awesome. And he is rocking Space Marines again. Space yep, Marines. so he's coming out of his comfort zone. He's coming away from his beloved Orcs. And he's joining the uh, the, the hype train of the old, the Space Marines. And he said Ultra Revolution. Marines. The revolution. <laughs> So he's taking the seven revolution hands. of the hev- hard hitting marines. Yeah. So, yeah. Who so doesn't he, blame him? No, he's taking salamanders. Um, he's got a tech marine. Then he's got Vulcan. Um, then he has tactical squad, tactical squad, tactical squad. He's going old Vulcan school. Vulcan lives. Old school. Um, then he's got a contempt dreadnought. Um, contempt dreadnought has got combi bolter, close combat weapon, and multi melter. Um, he's then got the Invicta Tactical Warsuits. How about that? He's bringing the new toys. He's bringing the new toys. Awesome. Not I look forward to seeing them on the table. So a couple of Invictors. They're decent. He's then got a couple of drop pods. Drop pods. Uh, a couple of drop pods with Storm Bolters. And then he has got another detachment. This is a spearhead detachment. He's got a captain in there couple of units of devastators they've all got multi melters and they've got the cherubs as well then he's got a land raider he's gone for a land raider achilles with the um quad launcher and twin multi melter he's gone very thematic all the melters for the salamanders which is cool lad. this is going to be a good one he gets one. all the re-rolls it's good because he gets all the re-rolls it works if you're going to take multi melters you're going to take them in salamanders so it makes sense um and then he finishes the list off the outrider detachment with a librarian and then he has some land speeders and the land speeders what do you think the land speeders have got on them multi melters <laughs> yeah that's it so um really thematic list we like it it's cool right then we have got maxwell Maxwell, our good old friend. Um, great to see Max out. Um, it's the first time he's gone to one of our events, uh, I think. I it think is, right. yes. So it's great. It's going to have great to host Max. Um, he's always come to my events in the past, so it's great to see him at this one. Um, and he's always a great sport, so it's great to see Max. Um, but that's where the compliments finish because he's taking <laughs> the scum. And the first outing of the You'd have got more tonight. compliments if you had if you filled with a better army. Yes, you would. Because he's taking the scum and he's taking my favourite part of scum as well. So he's taking Eldar, he's taking Alatop, of course. And what is the first thing I see? Fucking flyers. <laughs> 
Crimson Hunter X Arch, Crimson Hunter X Arch, Crimson Hunter X Arch. Outrider detachment, then more. This is now this is Samhan again. Then he's got a Farseer Skyrunner. He's got Fast Attack, Shining Spears. Don't see them guys so much. Still decent. So Wind Riders, Wind Riders, both with scatter lasers. They're horrendous. Then he's got more Wind Riders. Jesus, this guy's got a lot of scatter lasers. Nine scatter lasers, nine scatter lasers, seven scatter lasers. Wow, that's a lot of shooting. Um, then he's got Dark Reapers in the heavy support. He's got seven Dark Reapers. He's then got a Good job Sam we ain't got a lot of Horde armies here to this, this event. That That's going to deal with anything. Um, yeah, that will deal with a lot of stuff. Then, the flyers on his own are going to deal with a lot of stuff. Then he's got um, another detachment. This is a... Uh, then he's got an Altark on a Skyrunner. He's got a Warlock on a Skyrunner. He's got another Warlock on a Skyrunner. Max knows his Eldar really well. I expect him to do well. That's a horrible, horrible list that I would not want to face. Um, and then we've got... Another Michael. scum player. Yeah, Mr. Hacker himself. Let's have a look what he's got. So <laughs> he is rocking. He is rocking more scum, Darren. More scum. Let's put the scum together so I can get this sickness out of my mouth and we can move on. Um, right, so we've got more Alatok, we've got more Flyers, funny enough. Crimson Hunter, Crimson Hunter, Hemlock, Wraith Fighter. Ugh. And then we've got uh, more Alatok, Farseer, Idic Night Spear, Morgan Ra, um, three units of Rangers. But it's cool, he might be he might be still licking his wounds after his, uh, his little defeat he had on the live stream last Friday. Yeah. Well, that's... Let's hope so. He's still taking that scum, though. Um, then we've got uh, Swooping Hawks, Eldrad. Um, this is obviously um, uh, the other, whatever they're called, Alfway um, detachment, so they get the six-up full of pain thing. Uh, he's got um, Unit of Die Avengers, Unit of Guardians, Unit of Guardians, Dark Reapers, Wave Serpent, I'm bored of Eldar, move on. Um, <laughs> Um, and <laughs> now we have got Scott uh, Mulligan, I think that's, yeah, Mulligan. And he's got Imperial Knights. Um, so interesting. So what have we got here? We've got a full Knights list, always super scary and cool to see on the table. So we've got a super heavy um, detachment, which has got, and this is Hawk Shroud. So these are the guys that can, they don't deteriorate as much and they can do that heroic intervention like yeah. we yeah, they're pretty scary. Um, so he's got a he's got two armager war glaives. They're the combat little knights, and then he's got a castellan, the big scary castellan, um, with all the goodness. He's then got a crusader. Uh, he's already with, put a morty in his place. Yeah, scary stuff. He's got he's got the um, endless fury. Thermal cannon. Um, yeah, scary stuff. Then he has got a Knight Valiant. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, he's got a Knight Valiant. So he's got two huge great big knights. He's got a Crusader, and then he's got a couple of little knights. That's a fun list. It's a fun list. Like, if if the stars align, he's going to cause some serious damage, that, that guy. <laughs> Some serious damage. And then we have our very own Mr. Sean, Captain Canning. The great unpainted one. You better be painted by the time he gets the weekend. That's all I can say. Right. Um, and what what is uh, Captain Canning running? He has gone for his beloved Ultramarines. And he has got Chief Librarian Tigerius. He's got a Librarian, another Librarian there. With a jump pack. I didn't know he had Ooh, a Librarian. Now, jump interestingly pack. enough, John, I'm just yeah. going to just jump straight to the end. Yeah. Straight to the goodness. The last two things that he's put in there <clears throat> is things that we know he hasn't painted yet. Or well, the last What's time we point? spoke to him, they weren't painted. Point? So this is going to be the interesting part is he I'm has actually, to have them he has have these painted it, for the weekend. I take it back. I don't know if anyone's commented, but yeah, I think actually the points are right on Gilliman. He was 400. He's gone down to 350. Yeah, people did, did. People did correct you in the in the uh, com, in Perfect. the comments. Perfect. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four hundred three fifty. That's fine. Cool. Good. Good. Of course, Andrew knew what he was talking about. Jesus. Of course he did. Right. Um. 
He has got a Primaris Chaplain, because they're just amazing. He's then got um, two units of Intercessors. He's got another unit of Intercessor, but that's a big eight-man unit or a nine-man unit. He's got another nine-man unit. He's got a Devastator unit. And what's a Devastator's got? Grav. 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 And he's got Couple a... Couple of got pods. Repulsor You're going to muck around with this one. So he's got two... two um, Two executioner repulsors. They've gone. He's gone for plasma though, hasn't he? Yeah, micro plasma incinerators rather than the big gun. So interesting. And then yes, he's got Robbie G. He's got my Robbie G. Right. That's Cannon. It's a good list. It's a good Captain list. Captain Cannon. He hates being called that, which is why we're calling him that. He really hates it. <laughs> so when, when you, you play Sean, on, you've got to call him Captain weekend, Cannon. That is the rules. Shake his hand and say hello, Captain Cannon. That's what you need to do. Go over to him, say, hello, Captain Cannon. Shake his hand, give him a big smile. He'll love that. And he loves his love beer that. as well. So um, if you do, if you do <laughs> want to get an easy win, have a drinking game with him. Um, <laughs> all you need to do is buy five beers, line them up, and the deal is this. Whoever, whoever finishes the beers up first wins the game. Yeah. He so won't finish all five beers. So, so then we've got another Sean. I'm seeing double vision here because I've got another Sean and I've got more Ultramarines, which is scary. This is uh, Sean Catwell. Yep. Um, and another chap from the club. Awesome fella. Really strangely uh, submitted list again. Really weird, but it's quite easy to read, to be fair. So he's got Marnius. He's got he's got mini he's got mini Gilliman. So he's taking mini Gilliman. He's got um, Tigerius. He's got a Librarian and Terminator armor. Um, he's then got Chaplain um, Cassius, who's really good. He's got a Primaris Lieutenant. He's then got a, a Intercessor Squad, a Scout Squad, another Scout Squad. He's then got a Tech Tech Marine, and then he's got a Thunder Fire Cannon. Those Thunder Fire Cannons are no joke with a stratagem to slow people down, so they're really good. And then he's got not one, not two, but three Repulsor Executioners. He's not messing around. He ain't messing around, no, He's but no. He's not messing around. Jesus. You want to tell these people at the club to calm down, Darren? Jesus. I know. Like, I've seen this been in action in the club, and I know it, it hurts, so... <laughs> Things have got heavy. Things have got heavy real quick. Right. Yep. Um, so, yeah, solid list. Um, now we're on to Simon, who couldn't make it because he's still... Uh, you know, licking his wounds from last night. And I keep giving him a stick. Um, and Simon has been working on this list for a little while. Um, he, he claims it's crap. It's not. It's really strong. Um, he has gone for a pure Chaos Space Marines. He's got Black Legion. He's got Specialist Attachment, which is the Devastation Battery. He's got the Chaos with the Jump Pack and the Chain Sword. He's got the Chain Lord, right? Chain Lord. Um, and then he's got a Sorcerer of Jump Pack to buff the chain lord then he's got three units of cultists for just chaff i just oh, think this two, is a two, pr proper uh, venom crawler list do you reckon this is full den do you think this is full venom crawler um full venom, he, crawler. Full venom crawler he's got he's got two units of cultists he's got one unit of chaos space marines um and then he's got a big block of terminators um terminators all with combi bolters and chain axes cheap and cheerful but great at clear and chaff um He's then got a unit of Havocs with the all with the chain guns. Those guys are good, right, Darren? Yeah. Is he knows how right. to use them properly? Yeah, they're good. They're good. <laughs> he's then got two helpful. He's not in chat, so he's not even biting. So it's not even no, no fun. He may watch it back though. Anyway, um, then he's got two of the Hellforge Scorpiuses. Now you've seen one of them in action. Two. Yeah, they, they two are. Nasty. That is very. They are very good. So. Um, That's not nasty um he's then got spearhead detachment which is again field commando which is flawless host and then he's got two disco disco discos um and then it's not quite a space heavy... marine list is it no it's not quite and um, and then he's got heavy support he's got three mauler fiends so uh it's a cool list it's pretty scary it gets in your face real quick it's yes. it's good it's good. It's a really good list. It's a really good list. Don't let Simon tell you anything else. And he knows what he's doing with it as well. So, um, uh, and so a quick we... one in the comments. Just wanted to point out. Ace told me it was a fun, non-competitive tournament. So for everything, for everything, is going to kick my ass. Mm. 
That's well. It normally is a fun, non-competitive <laughs> tournament. I think this time everyone's just stepped up their A game. Um, then we have uh, Simon Pridis, who is our champion from our last event. Um, and Simon's bringing Tau this time rather than Yorks. Um, and he has gone for Fireblade, Shadow Sun, uh, three units of strike, strike teams. Then he's gone for two Riptides, um, unit of Piranhas, four Piranhas. Then he's gone for unit of Broadsides, three Broadsides, and five Shield Drones, more Broadsides. And yeah. <laughs> And then he's gone for a vanguard of an ethereal and uh, two fireside marksmen. And the character guy, who's the best 20 points you can spend, just jumps up and just is a nuisance and chucks a bomb down. Um, but yeah, I mean, Simon's had lots of success with his tail. So it's pretty on paper. It's pretty standard with the exception of the, um, uh, the piranhas. Other than that, it looks pretty standard. But um, Simon's a really good player, knows how to use it, and he's got all the good stuff in there. So, you know, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Write him off at your peril. He will be there or thereabouts at the end of this tournament. I would be a better man to say that. Um, then we have Steve. Steve, uh, my compliments, second name. Was it Tick Chicken? Chicken? I don't know. Can't pronounce your name. Sorry, sorry, Steve. Um, Steve's gone for. Um, Chaos Space Marines, this is a pure Chaos Space Marines. It is Iron Warriors. He's got a Chaos Lord. Um, he's then got a Sorcerer. He's got three units of Chaos Space Marines. Awesome. Um, he's then got. He's then got. Uh, he's got another Chaos Lord. This is Devastation ba um, Battery. He's then got a uh, Chaos Spawn. He's got three units of Havocs. They have. One of them's got those chain guns. One of them's got las cannons, and one of them's got auto cannons. He's got a vanguard detachment with a warp smith. He's then got a greater possessed. He's got a contemptor. He's got a sakaran. He's got some rubric marines, and he's got a rhino. There's a real mixture of cool units. I love um, the fact he's got 301 points for summoning. Good spot. I didn't spot that. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. What's he gonna? What's he gonna? What's he gonna summon, Darren? What do you reckon? Hmm. What do you reckon? It could be loads plague, of pink horrors. Plague bearers. <laughs> of course, it's going to be plague bearers. Plague but the thing bearers. is, he can tailor it to whatever he wants it to be. I bet it's plague bearers most. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. I bet it's 30 plague bearers most games. <laughs> right, okay, cool. Uh, then we've got another squid badger. We have got uh, Steve. Um, Steve Parker, he is going for the Spasmolines. He's going for Raven Guard. Interesting. So we've got a nice mix of Space Marines. He's got a, a primary chapter master. He's got then a lieutenant. He's got inter intercessor squads. He's got three of those, a five, uh, sorry, a six man unit and two five man units. He's then gone for elite. He's got three of the repulsor dreadnoughts. I really like these guys and he's kicked them out correctly with all the Gatling cannon goodness. Um, yeah. So that's, I really like that. Super solid. Um, and then he has got two repulsor executioners. That's solid, mate. You know how difficult it is to deal with those things. Yeah, that's a lot of mech to deal with. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, then, there's, there's, there's a lot yeah. of... Um, yeah, it's hard to deal with that, right? And these executioner repulsors, we're seeing a lot of these at the moment in this tournament. It's tons, isn't it? Um, and then he has got a primary chaplain, because they're amazing. And you wouldn't leave home without one now? No, two units of... Two more units of... Oh, no, these are interceptors. He's gone for the interceptors again. With the uh, assault bolters, it's like other people realise they're good as well, Darren. Um, yep. And then he's got a suppressor squad as well with the um, accelerator auto accelerator auto cannons. Um, so it's a good list. Um, really interesting to see what the Raven Guard do um, because they're not one that I I went to at first. Um, so it'd be definitely interesting to see how Steve does. But he's got some real hard hitting stuff and he's got some real resiliency in that list. So interesting. Uh, we then have another squid badger. We have Mr. Toby Linyard. Um, let's see what he's got. What, it's always a surprise with Toby. What are, you, what are you going to be reading? And then he's gone for Imperium Soup. He's not gone for Custody. He's gone for Soup. Gone for the, he's gone for the Inquisition. In, I can't even say it. The Inquisitors. The Inquisition. Inquisition, yeah. So he's got... He's, got he's come two, to eradicate the planets. 
He's gone for two Inquisitors, um, and then he's gone for Inquisitor Greyfax, which is the girl with the uh, crossbow. Um, he's then gone for his Pope in the big old wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. um, who he loves. Uh, who gets like carried around by his little skivvies. And then he's gone for uh, Hector X. So he's gone for all the Inquisitors. Have they actually got a codex yet? No, they don't have a codex. So they're index um, only at the moment? Yeah, they are at the moment, yeah. Yeah. So potentially they could just could become heroes. Could just go. Yeah, they could just come heroes. Yeah. Um, then he's got Ooh, acolytes. That, that would hurt, wouldn't it? It would hurt. Then he's got a unit of acolytes, um, which are just like the kind of little weirdo guys. He's got a couple of them. He's then got a vanguard detachment of custodies um, with a shield captain in Terminator armor with Praetorian plate, which he loves. And then he's got three dreadnoughts with the um, last drawn bolt. Bolters, they're the crap dreadnoughts, but Toby likes them. A Vexilla Praetor, so the minus one banner. Um, and then he's got heavy support of Telemann Dreadnought, who's awesome. And he's got a Venerable Land Raider, which he loves his Venerable Land Raider. Um, so um, because it's Toby, I don't mind saying it, but that's a real shit list. Um, <laughs> Proper Venom Crawler. So I'll tell you what's also super funny about it. Is I think it's seventeen fifty. What? If you look at the bottom, I think he's he's wrote seventeen fifty points list. So I think he's not built a two K list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's actually like, done seventeen fifty. So I, I might I might break the news to, to to Toby that he gets to spend some more points. Oh dear. Do you reckon he submitted the wrong list? No, I think he thinks it's 1750. But anyway, <laughs> bless him. Um, and then we've got Vic. So we've got another Tyranid, or should I say Forces of the Hive Mind, because we've got a mixed Tyranid and Gene Stealer Cult force here. Um, so we've got a battalion detachment of Kraken with uh, two Broodlords and a Malanthrope. Then three juicy units of Gene Stealers, all 20-man units, scary stuff. Three units of Rippers, amazing little utility unit. We've got some Myotic Spores. They're amazing in the current meta. Really, really good. They will stop a lot of the tricks and shenanigans and can also be quite punishing if you leave them alone. So they're a cool little utility unit. Then we have a um, battalion detachment of Gene Stealer Cult. And we've got a Acolyte onward, your favourite, say, Darren. And we've got, yep. a, we've got a Patriarch. Um, and this and this is a Deliverance Brood Surge as well, this is. And then we've got a, primer, a Primus with a Bone Sword. And then look at all those Rock Saws. There is a lot of Rock Saws. So we've got Acolytes, four Rock Saws, another Acolyte, four Rock Saws, another Acolyte four rock swords and then saving the best to last what's the last unit come on darren say it for me say it for me it's a clamorous is it <laughs> <laughs> it is today and uh last but not least least we've got will with a very interesting um uh towel army um so we've gone for a crude heavy list so this should be real interesting he has got a deceiving amount of bodies in this list, though, Darren. There is bodies for days. So we've got a battalion. God, I'm seeing 80, 80 crot just <laughs> crew just yes. on the just on the first bit. Yes. yes. Jesus. I know. So we've got two ethereals, and we've got 80 crew. <laughs> wow. Um, and they they move quick as well because they've got the pre scout move as well. So there's a lot of crew all over that board. Then we've got a couple of marksmen. We've got a Crute Shaper to carry on that theme with a Crute Rifle. Um, then we've got a Tau, another Tau detached from another battalion. So this is Fire Blade, Fire Blade, and we've got a Crisis Battle Suit with Missile Drone, with uh, Missile Pods, and Drone Controller. Then we've got Troop Choices. We've got one, two, three, four, five, ten men units of, of, of strike teams. <laughs> That's a lot of Fire Warriors. But that's still a lot um, of shots, though. It's, it's a lot of shots. It's a lot of bodies, again. 
just adding these bodies up. Um, and then so we've strength got strength five a, minus one? Not minus one, but strength five with good range, 30-inch range. Um, solid, super solid. And then we've got another two. We, so we've got a fireside marksman. And we've got two crew shapers again. Then we've got some fast attack. We've got some crew hounds. Yay. Well, I hadn't seen these on the table yet. I know. Look at I all will them the weekend. Hounds. I don't think I've ever seen them that amount of crew. That's going to look so cool on the table. It's just going to look wicked to see all those hounds. This is going to be amazing. Um, and then we've got... This is the little... This is the nasty bit. So up until this point, it was all quite fluffy and friendly. And then this is where it gets real nasty real quick. Because then we've got sniper drones. And we've got a lot of sniper well. drones. And I'll tell you what that amount of sniper drones will do. It will kill most things in the game. Um, that's quite a horrendous amount of mortal wounds that can be buffed. Um, and can be incredibly scary. Um, so we've got three big blocks of snipers. Um, and then the list is finished off by, again... Um, a uh, another little detachment which has got a an ethereal and has got a crew carnivore. So the sixteen crew, more more crew, sixteen crew. <laughs> just when you didn't just, have enough crew. Just when you didn't have enough crew, you've got crew for days. So um, this is a really cool list. Very deceiving. Very very good at board control. Um, loads and loads of bodies. Can fight a bit in combat. Not really well, but will fight a little bit in combat. Um, and will take out characters like they're not even there. If you've got a character on the board and it can see it, it's probably dead and can pick on big stuff as well. So it's actually got quite a lot of nasty bite in there as well, um, but it's kind of hidden by the 5,000 crew that are amassing across the board. So he's put on there, um, it's worth pointing out that there are three seps and it doesn't matter, Lou, uh, also, the war warlord has a twelve-inch bubble, so all the crew gain for the greater good. Yeah, yeah. So loads of yeah. It's it. It's a really solid list. It's a it's and the thing about it is that it's a real fun list because actually it's it's quite different from anything you'd likely to see on Tau. So it's going to be really cool to see it on the board. I'm excited to see what it does. So uh, and that's that's so that's our rounder. So I need you to pad for me for a second, Darren, while I check everybody in, and then we can do the draw. So pad, pad away, Darren. Talk to the lovely people. Interact while I do this. So after you've heard everything that we've got in there, who do we think that is going to be have some potential in this, in the runnings? Now, obviously, we've seen a hell of a lot of. Um, We've seen a lot of bloody Marines on the table, so it'd be interesting to see whether or not the Marines make it to the top three. I think that the Tau have definitely got a lot of got a lot of kick there, especially with all those drones. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. There's a hell of a lot of firepower going on, and of course, obviously, we've got the old big, the big Kesselian Knight himself. That's going to be really interesting seeing how he comes off. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Um, what we got? So, cut notes. Draw time. I can't imagine buying that many crew. Bet the person at Games Workshop processing that order must have been confused. <laughs> I bet they're like, what? <laughs> no, that's cool. Um, but he does put, I want to make it fun to play. And yeah, but you've got all those sniper drones though, so you kind of take it away a little bit there. I like the list. <laughs> I don't want to play play it though. I can't take that many bodies out. I don't think anyone can. Uh, I might win one game, maybe. Uh, Brutal Massacre, I'm only going to say the top three Elder, Elder Knights Tau in that order. Ooh. It's probably not a bad shout. Actually, do you know what? It's not a bad shout at all because you've got the... Um, Elder ain't winning. Elder ain't winning. Because you've got, obviously you've got the flyer spam. Uh, Scum. Yeah. Uh, and then Elder Flat Cap. Who is that? Which troll is Elder... Is Twisted, Twisted Flat Cap? Is that Sean? Uh, Elder Marine Night Suit. 
Yep. This list is super fast. That would be good. Yeah, the, 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 that's quite scary one actually with Vic's list because um, you've got the cracking obviously getting up the board, clearing out all the chaff, making way for anything that needs to get opened up. And of course, obviously, and then you can have the, um, the the saws coming in there and just absolutely annihilating any vehicle it's going to be coming up against or any, um, any characters or even better still, even your um, riptides. They're just going to absolutely, you know, de devastate him. Of course, the only thing with that is, obviously, when they go into combat, pen and what she takes with it, whether she takes the uh, spell where it stops the overwatch, that's going to be one thing that's going to help in that favor. And, of course, the void worm artifact to stop the overwatch because overwatch, that's going to be important as well. But otherwise, that's going to be super, super scary. Because before you know it, turn one, those gene stealers are going to be up in your face. doesn't matter where you hide on that board. They're just going to be there. And the pairings are up. So let's go through the pairings. So what we have is we have, I am playing against Scott um, uh, Mulligan. Um, Sean has got Stephen Parker. It is Mark versus Ben. Sean Capwell versus Austin. Franco versus Josh. Simon versus Steve. Grant versus Will. Um, Dan uh, versus Simon, Simon Pridis. So uh, Dan, Dan's got a tough first game. Um, James versus Vic. David versus Kenneth. John, John versus John. So John Kiddle versus John Scrivens. Uh, Michael versus Lee. Um, Chris Halton versus Andrew. Toby versus Max, Kieran versus David McDonald. So there we go. Interesting. Is Kenneth Morley? He's got he's got um, Tau as Tau. well, hasn't he? He does, yeah. So Tau v Tau. That's a Tau Tau off. <laughs> so only one Tau can we, come out the winner on that one. We've got a bit of a tyranny off with James versus Vic, even like kind of sort of thing. We've got... That's going to be interesting because got... both of those armies are quite fast getting around. And, of course, that's probably not a great a great setup for Vic with the um, got... overwatching on the Flamers. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We've got a Chaos off. We've got the Iron Warriors versus Simon's Chaos Space Marines. So that's an interesting one as well. Um, what we've got? We've got the uh, Franco takes on the Necrons. We've got we've got a space marine off. We've got Sean's Ultramarines versus Stevens Raven Guard. That'd be an interesting game. Oh, I wanted this to be Sean versus Sean. Um, I I've got the knights. <laughs> if I play, I've got. You're the gonna love knights. that. I don't know about that. He's gonna love that. I'm not gonna love that. <laughs> um, we've got Toby versus Max, which will be a fun one. I know those guys have played previously. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, we've got um, Andrew, Andrew and his knights versus the Dark Eldar, the kind of the real kind of um, interesting um, mixture of Dark Eldar. Uh, we've got Dark Angels versus the Eldar Scum from um, Lee versus Michael. That'd be an interesting one. Um, yeah, we've got some really good matchups. We've got the, as I said, uh, Dan versus Simon will be really cool. We've, Dan's got all that aggressive force versus um, Simon's defensive towel. Can he get through his lines? That's going to be an interesting one. Um, yeah. We've got, we've got Grant and all that um, masses of shooting from all his, uh, all his um, Admec versus Will's thousands and thousands of crews. Um, yeah, it looks like a really good first fun first round draw. So super excited to see what see what happens. Of course, guys, um, we will put the caveat out that if we do have dropouts and stuff like that, there is potential that it could change. But hopefully, um, we'll see everybody there, um, and the only change will be that Scott hopefully will get to play somewhere else rather than me. But if that doesn't happen, Scott, you get to bully my Carnifexes, which. Should be fun for you and all your big nasty knights that delete my stuff for fun. So you still have fun first game anyway. Um, so 
that's it guys that's that's us for this evening so before we go any questions um do you want to do any housekeeping darren around things that the guys need to remember so i'm going to try get the um the food on the go this time around uh so if you've done the tournament before there will be like um a chance to buy uh, a burger burger and a drink uh, handmade by myself not the burger of course um <laughs> But it will be cooked by myself. It's quite a nice, flavoursome burger. You can go for chicken or it will be uh, chicken or beef. I'll have a nice little selection. But for any guys out there are vegetarian or anything like that, just let us know um, and on the day, depending on what the Legion is going to charge us on that. Um, I'll let you know the prices on the day for that. So bring some cash if you can for that one because that helps massively. Um, if you don't fancy that, there is a chip shop around the corner. Uh, which is like literally two minutes, not even that, walk around the corner. So if you prefer not taking a chance on my cooking, you can just go around and get some chips. Uh, and there's Tesco's like five, ten minutes down the road as well. So if you prefer a meal deal, you've got that option as well. So that that's kind of cool in that way. Um, so we've got in. loads and loads of options. I might even just do the whole pizza option, just get everyone's chipping again, and we just get a couple of pizzas in. It just depends if anyone's, if people are not sick or tired of pizzas yet. Um, Maybe we do that cool. on the Sunday rather than the Saturday or something like that potentially or whatever. Anyway. Yeah, um, I, I think that, that may be the um, maybe the option on that, but uh, it's going to be absolutely cool. Uh, we'll tomorrow parking. night. Parking, parking, so, parking. Parking is a good shout. Um, there is a open sorry, there is a um, car park there, um, multi-story car park. Just when you go in there, just double check if you are having to drive out of Leighton Buzzard. Just double check on the actual times the car park closes. Um, I know on the Sunday they do close at six o'clock, so it's definitely well worth just checking it out before you um you uh, you know you, you disappear from the car park. Just double check on that. I double check myself and I see if I can get it posted up on the actual um, group chat. But that is really really crucial. Um, and the parking's literally seconds away from the venue itself, so that's that's, that's pretty cool. There. You know, around Leighton Buzzer, there are some streets that you can go off and park for free, um, and it'd just be a case of a you know ten minute walk or five minute walk into back into town. So it's not too not too shabby on that side itself. Um, as we said earlier on, the beers are pretty cheap at the British Legion, so it's always good. They do accept cards, bank cards. Um, you just need to make sure the order's over five pounds. Uh, otherwise, it'd just be a case of they refuse to take payment unless it's up to five pounds. So that's always good. And it's always cool because it means that you can buy you and a friend a nice cheap beer and it'd be pretty much just over a fiver, which is pretty damn cool. Um, what have I missed out, John? Of course, so, obviously. So, go on. Go on. Um, the event is being sponsored by Hamlin's. So, obviously, we've got Skivins. It will be, um, will be there representing the store that's kindly um, sponsoring the event, uh, which is absolutely, absolutely awesome. Again, there should be some links already on Facebook heading towards them um so obviously we'll, we'll go back we'll go through that again on the day and obviously when we actually give out the prizes as well because that's going to be really cool on that side what, what's the earliest they can get into the venue on saturday so the on the venue when itself we, we we should hopefully be there from 8 30 onwards um but we're looking to be there for nine o'clock no, nine o'clock at the latest if, if that's possible yeah, absolutely. Um, so we'll, we'll be running a um, painting competition for best mini, best uh, unit um, and best uh, monster or tank. So um, we will be uh, like doing a, like a voting system for that. So if you've one of your models you want to put in for that, we'll obviously explain it on the day, but we'll be doing that as well for a bit of fun. Um, make sure that you've had time to download the um, app for doing your in-game scoring um, so there's a what's it called Darren Do you know yeah good shout actually because I've, 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 I've been praising about that app for so long and I just completely forgot all about it it's the ITC battle app it's um, absolutely awesome really really easy to use um, you don't have to if you've got that app you don't have to worry about going out and getting a chess clock if you are worried that you will have to use a chess clock it's all on there it's absolutely free and all you do round by round you you know you put down your name your opponent's name you put down how many command points you got you put down your the primary mission this you, you choose your secondary missions if you're not sure 
what the secondary missions are you can literally just click on it on the secondary mission and it actually explains what you got to do on it which is really really absolutely dead easy but, but uh, download assault... it in advance download it in advance yeah so i would highly recommend because we don't have wi-fi at the venue itself um well they do have wi-fi but it's shocking and they don't give it out unfortunately so um the assault dice app is it allowed I yes, can't see... it, it, it is. It is allowed. No But just make it's sure your opponent's happy with it as well, though. No, they, you can use it. It's it's thank, it's it's sanctioned, so it's fine. But what out of exactly as Darren said, just out of courtesy, have a conversation with your opponent. Uh, make sure that they are happy with it. If there's a real issue. Give one of us a shout. But it is a sanctioned app, um, and we're fine with it. It is much harder to hack an app than it is to buy some rigged dice. So please do not worry about the app if someone's using it. It is just there's always a way to cheat if you want to, and um, you know. But if, listen, if you win by cheating, then there's no point playing. It's just a bigger yeah, mug, you. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So you know it is allowed. Uh, we're all for speeding up the game. If you've got tons and tons of dice to roll, it's cool. Um, we don't. I don't allow any other um, apps because there are so many other ones out there and I know that you can only get that one like you can't get it anymore and you can only get it through Apple and all that sort of thing I'm really sorry um, but what I can't allow any other ones um, it, it's just the only one that I absolutely know for sure um, so we won't be allowing any others but if you've got the assault one by all means you can use it um, no issues at all um, otherwise you better get faster at rolling dice um, but make sure you do get a chance to um, to download the mission um, the, the mission app because that's going to be really important because we are going paper free um, because obviously environmentally you know it's better we don't want to be wasting loads of paper um, and it, the, the app does everything and more so it's, it's a, actually a really really good app it tells you everything that you need to know um, and it's available for all different platforms so just spend the time to, to download it and have a little look at it but it's really good we will help you on the day but I can't deal with like 20 people coming up to me asking me about the app so um, you know get it done in advance we have put it on the um, the event page now it's been on there a while um, and you know ultimately if you don't do it it's down to you you're going to be the one that's trying to find a scrap bit of paper and trying to work out what missions what because we won't be doing it on the day um, so that that's kind of that um, but we, but we can't the, app, the app is dead easy I promise you it's, it's, it's not hard to deal with at all um, so yeah if, if you want to give us a hand on the on the Friday night so Friday night we should be at the British Legion from hopefully seven onwards um, so say so just pop in there um, when you get to the British Legion, the door will be shut. Just ring on the doorbell, and they'll, she will let you in, or one of us will let you in to the actual Legion itself. So it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we, we'll be setting up the tables on on Friday night, unless something change, changes and they have a, a, a last minute funeral come in. Um, that's going to be the only thing that will um, stop us, which I doubt that's going to happen. Um, yeah. We will definitely be there, hopefully from just after seven on Friday. But yeah, but we but we can't wait to host you guys. Um, we're really really looking forward to it. We've been looking forward to it for a long time. It's going to be an absolutely cracking event. Um, if you have got any questions or issues between now and then, then please do reach out to us. Either put a message onto onto the um, onto the actual page, or contact Twisted Dice and either myself or Darren will get back to you as soon as we possibly can when we get a chance. Um, but just bear in mind we're now rushing around trying to get everything done so if we don't get back to you straight away that's kind of why um but uh but yeah we're, we're really excited about it it's going to be amazing um and um, we're gonna have to carry on and carry on setting things up so we're gonna love you and leave you this evening um and uh thank you very much for tuning in and listening um and you can start plotting the downfall of your opponent <laughs> if you're coming and if you're just watching this and you're not coming to the event then um, our next event sold out but we will have news on coming events real soon so if it's something you're interested in um, just watch this space because we've got loads planned coming for the future and things are only okay. going to get bigger and better if you want to pop yourself down on reserve for this as well um, again just add yourself onto the Facebook page um, and just put yourself down you want to put down a reserve and if space does come available, we'll notify and let you know. Absolutely. 
Anyway, guys, so uh, from me and Darren, it's uh, it's good night. Have a great evening. We look forward to seeing you guys that come into the event um, on Saturday or on Friday. And um, everyone else that's just listening to this back, thank you for listening. And, uh, and, and we'll, we'll speak to you soon.